up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that A complement set minus B complement is equal to B set minus A. Yikes. So what is A complement and what is B set minus A? So first, a couple, couple of notions here. So first, uh, note that uh, B set minus A in this problem. So this is all of the elements that are in B, but they're not in A, right? So it's all the elements in B, not in A. So it's all the X's such that X is in B. And x is not in A, right? So x is an element of B, but it's not an element of uh, A. What about this here, this A complement thing? Well, A complement, it's the set of all x's such that x is not in A. That's all it means. Now, you can add an extra condition here. You can also say x is part of your universal set. Uh, so where, if it's not in A, where is it? Well, it's in the universal set. And say, so what's the universal set? What is the universe, right? So, um... When you're dealing with sets, all of your elements belong to something called the universal set, right? It's kind of like people. We live in the universe. The elements of the sets also live in the universe, except it's called the universal set, right? The universal set. Um, so this is, you can omit it, or you can not write it. It's kind of up to you. I typically never write it. Um, so I usually just do this, and it's just kind of implied. All right, let's, let's prove this. Proof, proof. Um, I haven't done this problem yet, I'll be honest. Um, let's just try to do it all at once. So let's just start by writing this down and just showing it's equal to this. Let's, let's see if it works. So A complement set minus B complement. Let's go really slow here. This is equal to the set of all X's, right? Such that X is in this set, but it's not in this set. So X is an A complement, and um, X is not in B complement, okay? X is not in B complement, okay? So let's just pause here for a moment and recap what we've done. So, A complement set minus B complement, that's the set of all X, such that X is here, but it's not in here. Instead of but, I use the word um, and, right, which is also acceptable. All right, where are we trying to go? We're trying to show that X is in B, but it's not in A. So, let's go ahead and write this down again. And maybe um, we, we can write this down another way. So, X is an A complement, right? That means it's not in, that means it's uh, not in A, right? So, that's not in A. That could be useful because we need to show it's not an A up here, see? So that could be useful. And if X is not in B complement, that means it must be in B, right? So that means X is in B. Because if it's not in the complement of B, it must be in B, right? Because what does it mean to be in the complement of B, right? It means it's not in B, right? So if it's in the complement, it's not in B. So if it's not in the complement, it is in B. <laughs> Head explosion. All right, so this is a set of all X such that, well, X is in B and X is not in A. That's precisely the definition of B set minus A, right? It's up here, look, except it's written backwards, right? But the, the end is commutative, right? And the theory of logic, that's where this all comes from, right? So the roots come from. Um, you can do that. The and operation in logic is commutative. So this basically means that, I'm going to write it again one more time, X is in B and x is not an a. Just writing it one more time. And this is precisely the definition of b set minus a. And that completes the proof. I hope this proof has been helpful to someone out there. Thanks for visiting my channel. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Uh, true mathematics. Take care.